welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's pick a card reading we have a very exciting reading and it's all about who is your secret admirer who is secretly having feelings for you okay so here's three groups that you can choose from we have here pal number one with the amethyst crystal okay now we have here pal number two with the yellow calcite crystal And over here we have pal number three with the rose quartz crystal. Make sure to choose from your intuition. As always, um, you can pause the video if you need a little bit more time to meditate over the groups. Choose the one that you feel the most drawn to. Yeah, either the group or the crystal. Yeah, whatever resonates with you the most. And after you're done choosing, you can scroll down into the description box where I'm going to leave all the timestamps for you. And make sure to stick until the very end of your reading where I'm going to pick some initials, yeah, three initials for each pile. So we can get a little bit more information about who is your secret admirer, okay? So like, let's get started. Hello, pile one. So if you chose the Amethyst Crystal, then this is your reading. Let's see what we have here for you, okay? I'm going to start with your oracle cards. They are from the Romance Angel Oracle deck. So if you're interested in any of the decks I'm using, I'm just going to leave all of them down below. So you have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So this card is saying that once you um, acknowledge yeah, this person that has feelings for you, yeah, um, that is your secret admirer, you should give a chance to this relationship because um, this card is basically saying there is potential for this connection. There is, um, yeah, potential for a beautiful relationship. So you should give it a chance, yeah. And it is, is it worth it, yeah, to um, work on this partnership, basically. Let's see what we have next. And we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this card is saying that once you decide to give a chance to this relationship, um, you two will naturally um, begin to get to know each other better. You're going to just, you know, be curious about understanding the other person, getting to know the other person, all the details, and by revealing um, your innermost selves, yeah, becoming vulnerable with each other, um, yeah, this says that you will become closer and closer and it's going to feel like um, you two can have a very deep and meaningful connection where you can share um, the most vulnerable and um, intimate things, yeah, about each other and your bond is just going to get deeper and deeper and um, your connection is going to become stronger, okay? So there is potential, um, yeah, you should give a chance to this connection once, if, yeah, you two um, are going to be aware, yeah, of the feelings that you have for each other, or you're going to be aware of this person, yeah, they're going to maybe confess, um, and yeah, you should just give it a chance, and also there is potential for this connection to be a very uh, strong one, yeah, and meaningful one. And next we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Sorry, this moment fully, yeah? So, there's going to be a lot of attraction between the two of you. And this person has a lot of attraction, yeah, for you. That's why they have, like, secretly feelings for you. They're your secret admirer. And I'm, I'm seeing here that maybe they're going to be very flirty around you. They're going to really try to attract you and... Um, yeah get you to um love them back yeah because this person is so interested in you and they would really like to um get to know each other better and get into this relationship so even though maybe um yeah you, it's a chance that you might not be interested at first but the message here is to give this uh relationship a chance or maybe you're gonna think that maybe it's not worth it or you're gonna wonder if it's worth it but yeah the message here is that it is worth it to put in the um work yeah and and try to get to know each other yeah maybe um go on dates 
go out together, hang out, yeah, uh, make time for each other because this is what's really going to bring you two together and there's going to be attraction involved in this connection for sure. So, yeah, and um, by enjoying, yeah, every moment, being present, being present with this person, yeah, fully absorbing their energy and what they have to say and really getting to know each other, this is what's going to bring that attraction and it's going to deepen that bond, yeah, between the two of you and it's going to it's gonna bloom yeah into a beautiful relationship all right so now let's see for your tarot cards we have knight of swords yeah and this is representing the energy of who is your secret admirer all right so right off the bat this person might be an air sign so gemini um libra or aquarius or it may be in their chart yeah strongly represented but yeah so it might resonate this person is the kind of person that once they, they set their mind onto something or someone they're really going to get after it yeah and they're not easily giving up yeah this person has a lot of potential and determination um and willpower and they are constantly self-motivating themselves yeah they have a lot of self-confidence and they're really um not the type of person who uh give up yeah yeah, they're just going after that and they're really willing to um, reach the end or really gain whatever they um, hoped for. So this person, it might be like this even when it comes to relationships, yeah? So as I was saying, this person is going to have a lot of attraction for you and they're really going to be into you, yeah? And um, yeah, obviously they are going to really make something about it and they are go going to maybe try to get your attention, try to, um, yeah, get for you to like them back. And this person might be um, a very direct, yeah, you might notice that this person is going to have a very direct approach. Um, they are someone who is um, just upfront, yeah, honest, um, they are not trying to hide or pretend yeah they're really um speaking their mind yeah uh, the swords are all about mind and um communication so they have a very high um communication skills and they're going to be able to really um yeah come they're someone who can easily form arguments and um really um form their opinions like communicate their opinions in a very effective way and this person might even make such a great per, um, yeah company to hang out with to uh, have a chat um, you're probably gonna feel very comfortable talking to this person so yeah we have here getting to know each other so this person is eager to get to know you better to um, really um, get into your um, mind and understand who you are where you come from and also, they're eager to express, yeah, themselves to you and reveal themselves to you, let you know who they are and, yeah, what is their life story. So, just this person is very, very interested in you, in, in your life, in how your mind works, in what your, yeah, opinions are and just everything about you what do you like what you don't like so yeah they are going to really uh, want to have those long conversations yeah deep conversations not just like um small talk they will really want to um get to know you and have that deep bond with you and yeah this person is as i said someone who can be uh very motivated and energetic and um, this person might have a lot of projects on, ongoing, they might be involved in a lot of things, um, they are someone who is very direct, as I was saying, they're not a big planner, yeah, they are kind of going after um, something, yeah, without thinking too much ahead, this can sometimes backfire them, yeah, this sometimes can be uh, not such a great thing because um, sometimes it's good to plan, yeah, and to think about possible consequences. Um, this person can be a little bit impulsive at times, yeah, but overall um, they have great potential, yeah, for being on 
an involved partner yeah this is someone who is very proactive yeah they are really uh, an action type of person yeah they're not sitting around too much uh, waiting for stuff to fall into their lap no they're going after it they're um, making things happen they are uh, the type of person that really um, is an achiever yeah they they want to achieve things and they have a lot of goals and they have as i said a lot of energy to um and motivation to go um after those goals so yeah life will feel um very inspiring yeah with this person and maybe it's gonna bring a lot of energy and motivation yeah into your life as well okay so next we have six of cups and this is representing the energy of how will they act around you and the six of cups energy is all about um letting that inner child out yeah um this is kind of like remembering the younger a uh, younger years yeah when uh, we were children or younger and basically you're going to really um get out of them that child spirit yeah that um youth spirit and they're going to be very flirty around you they're going to um maybe even like get you flowers and get you little gifts um by yeah showing these small gifts that they really um are interested in you and you are special for them um they might be as i say very flirty because there's lots of attraction and they're gonna be goofy and try to make you laugh and smile and yeah the energy around you is gonna be a very carefree one and you might feel very comfortable around each other um, because this person is just so laid back and goofy and funny and they're just gonna try to make a very positive yeah um, environment and as I said just be that childish um, kind of personality but in a very positive way yeah in a way that is just um inviting you to let go of stress or responsibilities and just really enjoy life yeah um we i just realized that we had this message here you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so just um be carefree and enjoy the moment live the moment fully by being with this person because um I, I, as i said i'm getting this very laid back and joyful energy this positive yeah high vibration energy that this person is gonna bring um into your life yeah when they're gonna um yeah whenever you two hang out yeah next we have um, the Knight of Cups energy and this card is on the position of what will they do about it and the Knight of Cups energy is such a beautiful card to have on this uh, position because Knight of Cups is the romantic yeah the um, classic romantic and as I was saying this person is gonna bring you lots of small gifts and they will definitely definitely uh, express how they feel for you yeah they will confess and it's not gonna take a long time until they will do that and yeah they will really be um, so gentle and charismatic and romantic in their approach and they will really uh, yeah just um, yeah like surround you with beautiful energy beautiful like gestures romantic gestures yeah they will be um very romantic towards you and it's gonna express their re attraction their uh, interest in you and i'm i'm seeing that yeah this i'm seeing this image that they will really uh confess in a very um just romantic type like movie type of way yeah this is very beautiful and here, as I was saying, like we have a lot of cups, and this is expressing how they are really in touch with their inner um, feelings and emotions. Um, they really know what they want, as I was saying, and they know that they want you, and they are, yeah, really um, trying their best, yeah, to uh, get your attention, and that's why they're gonna come forward, express how they feel, be honest about it. Uh, be direct yeah as i was saying they're communicating in a very direct way um very straightforward people and they would like the same approach from you yeah they they are the type of person who is um 
yeah they can be very pragmatic as well so they're just like okay i'm into you what about you are we gonna do something about it because they they don't want to like wait any longer they are not someone who is yeah like the type of person who is just dragging things um they want to achieve they want to sort things out they want to clear things out yeah um the sword is about being clear yeah um this person is a, that kind of uh, person that has like clear boundaries they know what they want they know how they want to be treated they know how to um yeah and that stems for their from their self-confidence from from that self-love and yeah they just want to be honest with themselves so and they also owe that to themselves to come forward and express how they feel and they're very curious about your um answer yeah to their um confession and yeah as i was saying they're going to do it in a very romantic way and they are someone who is an empath i can see someone who can really feel the other people's energies yeah um with the cups they can really put themselves in other people's shoes so I, i'm seeing that they're gonna expect for that right moment but they're not gonna wait for too too long yeah and once they find that right moment yeah when it feels the right time they're definitely gonna make like a very romantic gesture for them to confess to you okay and last but not least, we have, oh wow, such a beautiful card, Ten of Cups on romantic possibilities, yeah, for this connection. And this is like no better card, yeah, Ten of Cups, we can see the rainbow, we can see the completion, yeah, the um, uh, feeling of abundance and accomplishment with the Ten, yeah. Um, this shows the beautiful family, the perfect, yeah, um relationship marriage family like where everything is just happiness and joy and um obviously real life has ups and downs but what i'm saying is that the energy of this card is saying that there's definitely beautiful potential for a an amazing relationship with this person yeah a very healthy and beautiful relationship um so if you're willing to start a family and um you're wondering yeah like if you're into if you're gonna be yeah, into this person and your goal is to start a family and get married then this is a uh, marriage material yeah this person is a uh, marriage material someone who can be a great um yeah like parent there is potential for that but whatever is your end goal yeah even if you just want to have a relationship and even yeah no matter what this is a great potential for a relationship yeah there's going to be a lot of happiness in this connection a lot of joy a lot of beautiful experiences that you're gonna have with this person so yeah it's definitely a big yes when it comes to uh that question yeah like is there a romantic possibility for this connection a very big yes for you pal one okay so now let's see the three initials Okay, so we have the letter I, we have the letter L, and we also have the letter M. Okay, so yeah, this was a beautiful reading. I'm really, really happy you were here today with me thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the reading too if you did hit that like button also make sure to subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future i'll see you in my next video until then take care bye bye hi pal too so if you pick the yellow calcite crystal then this is your reading let's see what messages we have for you so I'm going to start with your, with your oracle cards and they're from the Romance Angel Oracle deck. If you're interested in any of the decks I'm mentioning, I'm going to leave them linked down below. So first we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So basically, this is saying that it is worth waiting for it. Yeah. So whatever is your secret admiring going through and... um. Maybe it's going to take some time from this message. I'm, I'm getting that your person is going to wait for some time before confessing or coming forward to express how they feel. But 
it is worth waiting for because divine timing is at work yeah something is cooking basically and um the universe is bringing that to you you just have to trust yeah divine timing you have to trust into the universe okay next we have religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so it's either your person yeah your secret admirer or you that are going through something um yeah like a spiritual journey yeah um some spiritual enlightenment development some um self-development yeah some healing something that has to do with um yeah healing and getting over something um learning some lessons and getting through um something yeah that's really gonna add to your spiritual um spiritual involvement evol and enlightenment so yeah maybe that's why the waiting yeah part because there is something going on that it's something deep yeah has to do with internal um journey yeah with internal healing with something that has to really uh get to a new chapter renew yeah there's something going on and it has to do with the spiritual side yeah or mental health yeah and next we have trust this situation is calling for you to have faith so yeah as i was saying trust yeah trust the universe trust the divine timing trust the journey yeah this journey it has a meaning it has a purpose it's all for your highest good and this whole situation is yeah calling for you to have faith to trust the process okay so if you're feeling like um you might be disappointed or you're might feeling down or you might feeling like um yeah you're you're lacking trust you remember that you need to um just be be yeah like um more relaxed and trust the process yeah go with the flow and go step by step yeah take things for what they are and really um try to go step by step and not stress too much about what's coming next about um how things are gonna turn out just have trust yeah have trust and be positive keep being in a high vibration state yeah work on yourself okay let's see for your uh, tarot cards we have eight of cups so the person that is your secret admirer i'm seeing that they are going through a process where they're leaving a certain situation behind that was really meaningful to them yeah in the past so yeah because it was so meaningful it took them a lot of effort and a lot of time to actually decide yeah make this decision to leave and as i was saying um yeah it might be you or it might be them going through a process of spiritual um yeah getting to know themselves yeah or like getting um more inclined spiritually getting more interested into those aspects yeah and maybe they need healing they need time for themselves they need time to really understand and um yeah like really understand who they are where they're going through maybe there's like an identity crisis going on but yeah either way this person really had to go and i'm seeing someone who is very um sensitive yeah someone who can really feel deeply and they put their all when it comes to um a relationship or connection yeah we have here the cups so this person might be a water sign so um cancer scorpio pisces yeah hence the sensitivity and the, the um, yeah the profound way of um feeling yeah there, this is someone who is really putting their all and it's really attaching yeah to a certain person a situation yeah this person is not easily letting go and they are not leaving easily either yeah so that's why they they took a lot of it took a lot of them yeah to leave this uh person or this situationship yeah but they understood that it's toxic for them and that it's not meant for them and they are looking 
yeah for something that's for their highest good that's gonna help them uh, grow yeah that's gonna help them yeah become a better person um the person that they're meant to be not some something or someone that's gonna drag them down and it's gonna um interfere yeah with their spiritual journey with their spiritual path yeah so by yeah they understood that by being in a toxic environment toxic relationship yeah um it's going to really keep them in a low vibration state of mind and it's not gonna allow them to to bloom and to um just grow into the person yeah that they are meant to become and yeah so this person is someone who is easily attaching yeah someone who is very sensitive someone who is um giving their trust yeah they are someone who can love very deeply they are very invested when it comes to relationships yeah so okay let's see what we have next we have the card temperance and this is on the position of how will they act around you so this person will come across as someone who is very quiet um maybe you're gonna think that they're shy um yeah but maybe you're even gonna think that they're upset but or sad but this person um i'm seeing that they are um really tapping into that inner voice that inner intuition they're really letting themselves to be guided um by by their inner voice yeah and they're really turning into um yeah just getting more and more into their spirituality and really understanding um how they feel how how they are yeah like perceiving the world and what do they want yeah where do where do they want to um go yeah what do they want to achieve um what is their purpose yeah of um in this life yeah so this person might come across as maybe distant sometimes but this person even though they have feelings for you um they are still sort of like resilient yeah and and they still keep like a step back maybe they don't feel ready for a new relationship um and they're really focusing on their spiritual growth and on their um yeah like self-development on their healing that yeah, they need to do healing and i can see that this person is just gonna feel like very positive yeah um energy to be around very patient very gentle um yeah and there's they're an empath 100 percent. we can see here the cups and here also yeah we see this person like this angel yeah with the cups and tapping into the water so this the water means everything about emotions about understanding your own emotions and other people's emotions they can really sense the energy around them they can sen really sense uh yeah the people uh, feelings and emotions around them so basically they're really paying attention to other people they're an empath they are um very generous person and kind and and gentle as i was saying and they really have a high um emotional intelligence yeah um they are really someone who can sense what's going on around them okay and they're just gonna have this positive aura around them they're going to be very kind to you very um helpful and generous yeah whenever you need something um they're going to be there for you and they're really gonna un understand how you feel and they're going to be a very good listener and they're going to really uh, allow you to express however you feel and who you are and you're gonna see that this person is such a good listener and you're really gonna feel like you're heard and understood yeah and someone is really paying attention to you and that's gonna make you feel very very good obviously um okay now let's let's see what we have next and we have four of swords so on the position of will they do something about it the answer is not now at least yeah because four of swords is that energy of pause yeah of taking a break yeah so this person has I was saying before they're really going through a healing process they have to go 
through it and they really think that this is the healthiest thing that they can do for themselves if this is the most beneficial thing that they can do for themselves and it's not healthy to jump into another relationship if they're not they don't feel ready for it okay so therefore they're really taking some time for themselves um they're really taking that step back taking that break maybe from dating yeah even though they they have like deep feelings yeah someone who can feel very deep so even though they have these deep feelings for you they still know and understand yeah what's best for them and for the people around them and they really don't want to rush things as i was saying a lot of patience someone who is very grounded and yeah spiritually inclined so they're really taking this time to um do the healing and just becoming yeah a better version of themselves the person that they're meant to be the person that they're happy to be and get into a relationship in a healthy way yeah they want to start a relationship um the right way so yeah they really understand that it's not the right timing not now yeah at least this is the answer for that uh, question and last but not least is there potential for this connection and the answer is a very big yes with the ace of cups this is like a really really huge yes for this question so as i was saying it might not happen now for them to express how they feel and come and confess to you yeah but as in for is there a possibility or a chance for this connection there's definitely a lot of potential huge potential for abundance um yeah an abundant relationship where you two are really really happy together and it's that type of connection where you can really understand each other without even using words yeah where you can really sense each other on a such a um deep and yeah um profound level so yeah there there is potential for such a beautiful connection and I'm seeing that maybe with this Ace of Cups, this means, yeah, this represents like a hand, yeah, sh coming with a cup, which is like expressing your feelings. So I'm assuming that this will come in the future, yeah. This person needs some time to um, focus on themselves and heal. But in the future, I think that they're cons really considering, yeah, coming forward to express how they feel because they have so much love to give we see this cup overflowing with water so that means there's lots of feelings lots of emotions it's it's incredible how there's like three cards of cups so water sign really strongly represented here um and all this this all these cups mean that there's a lot of feelings a lot of yeah feelings involved into this connection yeah this person has such strong feelings for you they they they're like super in love with you and they would love to be with you and all of that but they just need time and i think even though it might hurt them yeah to not express how they feel like right away and and really come forward to you but they realize that it's not the healthiest option and they want to do things the right way and they have patience for that and the yeah the the universe is asking for patience from your part from for trust yeah and patience worth waiting for this person is really worth waiting for yeah so yeah we have here like a beautiful reading but it requires for, for for some patience and trust from your part in the universe and in this person yeah okay so now let's see some initials for your pal too okay so we have the letter e okay Next we have the letter V. And last but not least we have the letter L. Okay. So maybe this is going to resonate. Yeah. Um in the future, yeah, maybe when this person is going to finally like 
feel ready to come and express how they feel because they have so much love to give and it's such a shame um, because this connection has a huge potential so yeah just trust the universe trust that whatever is happening right now yeah if this person is meant for you it will become yeah a relationship it will come to you yeah just trust the universe the, the divine timing is working yeah something is cooking as i was saying maybe it's not the right timing for you now but who knows maybe in the future this is what's meant to be okay so this was your reading pile too i really hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future also consider leaving a comment down below it's always lovely to see your comments i'll see you in my next video until then take care bye bye hi pal free so if you pick the rose quartz crystal then this is your reading let's see what messages we have here about who is your secret admirer i'm going to start with your oracle cards and these are from the romance angel oracle deck if you're interested in any of the decks i'm mentioning i'm gonna leave um, all the links down below okay so first card we have deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this connection in this relationship sorry so yeah um one of you is probably not going to show um how they truly feel once you um once you recognize yeah who this person is and once you may might get in touch with this person some one of you yeah someone is going to not show how they truly feel or they're just gonna pretend yeah um in some way or another or this card could represent yeah like for now that this person might wear a self mask for now yeah they might act like they don't have any feelings for you even though they are your secret admirer yeah and it's just leading to uh deception yeah it's leading to um like a false um like a false image yeah about what they are like what they feel yeah okay so this person is still keeping things secret so your secret admirer is still yeah not wanting to come forward and show his face basically still wearing a mask next we have separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so yeah you two are still going to be in separation this person might live far away from you yeah it could represent that um it could represent that there is going to be a long time until this person actually confesses how they feel yeah maybe they're not even considering it maybe they're scared maybe they um maybe you're in a relationship already um yeah maybe they're just not ready so Whatever it is, yeah, that that's happening. But this person is still acting like they, they don't have any feelings for you. Um, this person is, like, just wearing a mask, yeah. And you two might not even, like, meet for a long while. Or you're not even going to know this person for a long while, yeah. There's separation on the horizon. And last but not least, we have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So maybe you have an idea of who this person might be and you're just starting to uh, wander and try to uh, find clues and just find out who this person is and try to like really get control over the situation and like maybe push this person to express how they feel like want to know if they really have feelings for you or not or yeah whatever resonates this is a general reading i'm just getting uh this message now but whatever that is this message is to just allow the situation to unfold naturally yeah if this person doesn't feel like telling you how they feel just let them be if there's gonna be separation just focus on yourself focus on yeah like focus on your life and focus on what you have here and now and don't worry about other things yeah so yeah just let go of control and try to really be um just carefree and enjoy yeah whatever life has to offer to you and yeah go with the flow basically okay 
Next, we have on your tarot cards, Knight of Pentacles. So the person that is your secret admirer is the energy of Knight of Pentacles. So this represents Earth uh, sign energy. So Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. So yeah, this person has very strong feelings for you. You know, this is crazy. Like they are acting like they don't have any feelings for you. But this person has such strong feelings um knight of pentacles is representing that energy of someone who is really willing to have a committed relationship yeah someone who can um can have a very stable relationship and they want a stable relationship yeah they want a lot of stability in their life this person is a little bit yeah in a way it makes sense uh you're gonna understand once i'm just telling you this basically the energy of knight of pentacles is that of someone who takes a very like a very long time until they decide something until they actually act on something yeah so now it makes a lot of sense why this person is still not expressing how they feel or how um yeah why they might keep a distance yeah from you this person takes a long time to actually um yeah go after something they want or make a decision or act based on that decision yeah the, the feelings are there and they are really strong and they know what they want they want to have a committed and yeah stable relationship but maybe there's something that that they still need to figure out but it takes them a long time yeah this person likes to have um a lot of stability in their life they like uh, rules yeah they like um routines they are a big big planner yeah sometimes they are planning way too much and yeah they kind of forget to act on that plan um they're just thinking and rethinking about uh, what's gonna happen about possible outcomes yeah so mm, they're an overthinker and this person might be too much yeah up in their head thinking way too much about possible situation and outcomes yeah and this is keeping them from going after what they really would want yeah from what their heart heart wants so yeah okay this is not a negative card yet. this is a very positive card this is about love stability and foundation yeah like a, a like a love with a strong foundation but it's coming very slow very slow okay and next we have the chariot and this is on the position of how will they act around you okay basically we have here separation and yeah this is a general reading take this take this however resonates but obviously this person is going to be in a separation from you yeah maybe you two are living apart yeah maybe different cities different different countries um maybe it's yeah like not even like in your everyday life maybe you don't interact with this person and the chariot um chariot energy usually represents determination you going that extra mile yeah um having that um willpower yeah like strong willpower but it also could mean traveling yeah going abroad so this person i'm seeing that yeah when it comes to how will they act around you basically they will just go further away from you yeah this person is just um may, might be traveling like physically or they might just be like getting distant yeah from you this is the energy i'm getting um they're still not showing how they feel they still um just they're still like not sure how they're gonna act about it what they're gonna do about it so basically it's going to be uh, like separation between the two of you this person is going to get more and more distant okay next we'll see page of wands this is on the position of what will they do about it okay so this person um is really doing plans and planning planning and planning yeah they're not this is not a card of action this is a card of making plans having a lot of passion for what's yeah what's coming next having a lot of um yeah like ideas and just have a lot of fire for what's next and like what's 
coming yeah next but it's not an action card this shows again that this person is just going to take time to make plans and ideas of how they should approach you and how they should just um, approach this situation and what should they do about it and they are thinking yeah this card shows that they are thinking about being with you and how it's going to be with you and it's going to be so great and they they're so in love with you and they have so much passion and attraction for you yeah ones are all about passion they are thinking about all of that they know what they want they know that they want a stable relationship with you and they're excited about that but they still they're still not being yeah like open about how they feel about you and how you will know about them if they're not saying how they feel yeah there's no there's no possible way so and also they're acting that they don't even have feelings for you like they're still waiting for that right timing and they're just planning and yeah like thinking about ways of or yeah like a moment of opportunity that they can do this the right way and let's see the last card last but not least we have page of swords and this is about potential of this relationship like is there potential for this relationship and the answer for this question is might be a yes yeah this is again like a card that's all about ideas about being creative about being curious this person is super curious about you about your life together but all i'm saying is that this person is just daydreaming about you yeah this person is just daydreaming and not doing anything concrete yeah they're not taking the matter in their own hands and they're not yeah like acting on their feelings and just be open and and see where this leads them and it might be because this person is just scared of the outcome what if you yeah what if you're not into them and they prefer to stick into their daydreaming into their bubble where they can just safely dream about a future with you about a life yeah with you a potential life with you but if they express how they feel and you will not be uh into them you will not respond to the same uh yeah not respond in the same way to their feelings then their heart will be shattered and they are scared of that they they're scared of that answer of that outcome so they're just preferring to drag time and and just indulge in their daydreaming about yeah you know how when you're infatuated with someone and you're just daydreaming about someone and all of that that's what they're doing this person might also be like someone who is very private person yeah they're not really um maybe an introvert yeah maybe someone who really likes to keep their life private so maybe it's not yeah natural for them it doesn't come natural uh, naturally to them to just be open and, and express how they feel yeah some people are um really open yeah by just like themselves and they can just this is how they function basically and for them this is like therapeutically yeah like therapy they can just talk about their feelings and um they feel better but some people feel uh better if they keep private yeah if they're just um keeping things internally so maybe this this is uh how they are and that's why it takes them too much to process things and to plan things and um maybe it's not even easy for them to open up and express how they feel and whatever it is yeah but yeah there is potential with this person as i said there's lots of stability and lots of um yeah passion when what involves this person but this person is just as again just curious and dreaming about um possible relationship with you and all of that okay okay so now let's see some initials pile three okay just you know for the sake of it <laughs> we don't even know if this person is just really going to express how they feel or not because the answer to that question is like like a question mark basically like a no basically because they're just daydreaming about it they're not doing anything this is not a card of action but anyway yeah let's see the initials so we have letter v we have letter d 
then we also have letter N. Okay, so this was your ring pile number three. If you found a valuable message in here, then hit like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Also consider uh, leaving a comment down below. It's always lovely to uh, see your comments. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.